Hey YouTube, Gummy Kitty here again. So this video is going to be the Natural Hair Empowerment Series continuation video. Um, the other ladies that are doing this collaboration have had the videos up. I'll put the links to their videos in the comment section below. But this video is going to talk about natural hair and how it pertains to men, I mean dating, and family. So stay tuned. Well, the title for this episode is Dealing with Men and Family. Um, for me, dealing with men and family was relatively very, very easy for me. Um, I've heard a lot of horror stories out there. I'm so sorry, guys. But um, when I decided to go natural in 2010, May of 2010, hello, I'm coming up on five years. Um, I was with this guy that I'm still with now. Um, his name is Kinsley. You guys will like get to meet him later, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so I told him. Hey, babe, I'm going natural. And he said, what? You going what? I said, I'm going natural. And he's like, yeah, whatever. So he didn't understand what it was. So I had to explain to him, like, hey, I'm cutting off my hair um, so I can really grow my own hair. And he's like, is the hair on your head fake? I said, no, the hair on my head right now is chemically processed, but I'm trying to have my hair not chemically processed and just grow it in this natural state. So he was like, okay, so far it's going to make you happy. That's fine by me. I was like, okay, cool. So I cut my hair in school. I didn't tell my mom yet because my mom would have flipped. So I cut my hair in school that day. I remember I had my roommate cut my hair after I took out my braids. So I cut my hair and then that weekend I came home and my mom was like, what did you do? And I was like, I'm going natural. So she was like, yeah, but you know, you're supposed to look pretty and graceful, you know, a natural hair. So, my mom had a little, like, resiliency, like, a little shock of, why would you do that? But hers wasn't as bad as what I've heard out here. So, my mom was like, hey, it's your hair. That's what you want to do with it? That's fine. I think within, like, a month, no, within, like, a week or two, my mom was already, like, in the group of things. She understood my hair. Didn't make, have any comments. Um, I didn't get any negative comments from her. It was more of, like, a concern when I first um, came home with my haircut. So, um, in that aspect, that was great. My sister, Fran, um, she, I have two sisters. I have an older sister. The oldest is Natasha. The second one is Francisca. Fran had been natural for, I think, since 2004. And she always maintained a low cut because she didn't have the time or the energy to even put up with her hair. So, my sisters were pretty understanding. My sister... My oldest sister, Natasha, was natural too. So she was pretty understanding. She was like, hey, cool, whatever. So I didn't have any backlash from my family. Um, I think the most backlash I had was from my friends. Um, my friends were like, yeah, you know what you're going to do with them beady beats? Or what are you going to go out with your hair um, looking like today? Like they had more concern like, you know, we're supposed to look posh or we're supposed to look like, you know, we have everything kept together and that might be too like... Ugh, too fresh off the boat but yeah I didn't have any problems with my family my family was really really supportive um if anything funny story I have for you two years after I went natural I came home and my mom had like my mom had jelly curls <laughs> yo don't laugh my mom had jerry curls yes and she was maintaining them on point she had like nice long ones but two years after I went natural I came home and my mom had literally taken the scissors and like cut her hair. She big chopped herself and she went natural too. So my mom is natural now. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, at Ghana Cutie, you guys will see like pictures of my family, the boy, and my mom, and like my nephews. So you can tell that my mom has been natural now. Um, when it comes to men, funny thing, since I've been natural, like I get so much more attention from Caucasian guys now than when I was relaxed. I don't know. Leave, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe it might be only me. A couple of other naturalistas I talk to, they have the same feeling. Like something about natural hair draws them Caucasian guys to us. Fun facts for the day? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. But 
since I've been natural, I've had no guy problems. Not like I'm in the get dating game anyway, because I went natural while I was dating and I'm still dating the same guy. So I'm not in the dating game, but I get like comments and compliments from all guys of whatsoever color and whatsoever age. Like, yeah, the older it gets, the it gets a little creepy. Like, 60 something year old man saying, yo, can you be my African queen? That's kind of creepy. But like, I can take a good compliment as in like, oh, your hair is so beautiful. I love it when you, um, I see my sisters or my um, fellow black people wearing your hair like that. Like, I love those comments. Um, I've had like a story of a bus driver, like, you know, literally stopping the bus. Like, he stopped the bus, walked up to me in the back of the bus and said, I love your hair like that. Like, I was like, okay awkward and people were just staring at me and I was like oh my gosh I don't know if I should blush or just look down but yeah like guys have like embraced my hair um and I think because I I I, I was lucky enough to not have so much backlash or like go through like an awkward phase necessarily um with like the guys and family that it has helped me really embrace my hair as a whole and as it is and it helped me love my hair even faster because the next hairstyle or something was something cool or my mom would be like oh that's a nice hairstyle you should do that all the time sometimes my mom can be too honest she's like that makes you look old even to take that hair out <laughs> but it's all love and it's all family but it all in all like I've been blessed with being able to embrace my hair along with all the loved ones around me um I think my the most backlash I got was from my friends. That's because most of them weren't like hip to the whole natural hair thing when I first cut my hair in 2010. So they were like, yeah, you're going to get your hair braided right. <laughs> but Kinsley, my family, like everybody has been deceptive of my hair. Um, I've gone through this phase recently of like having to find time to not be so obsessed with my hair because I think people have loved my hair so much that I got to like fidgeting and playing in my hair and like trying to find like the next thing to do with my hair and I did that too much so like I'm trying to not be so much invested into my hair and sadly when I say this like no shade my family has like been attached to my hair more than I have been like what so when I went to get my hair cut in I think it was November or October I went to get my hair cut dusted my ends um, I didn't tell my family because they were like don't let anybody touch your hair they're gonna cut it they, uh, nobody like I was like what so my family was just like don't let anybody touch your hair they're gonna mess it up they're gonna cut into an ugly hairstyle I'm like no I'm just gonna go through my ends so I've been stalling that for a while because my family is so attached to my hair they're like don't don't let somebody damage what you have so um I went to dust my ends I posted a picture on Instagram at Ghana Cutie and people were like what did you do what did you do I just trimmed my ends it was a lot of damaged ends so, so this concludes my men and family natural hair empowerment um, episode. I'll make sure to comment in the comment section below. What has you, how has your life changed in regards to men and family? Um, the backlash. Have you noticed any significant difference after you big chopped? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, let's keep the conversation going. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm. May of 2000, then. May of 2000. Blah. May of 2000. I can't say 1000. 